today we're not going to be talking about soccer, and I know that the soccer reads didn't go through, but I'm going to be sharing my story. Now, when I was 11 years old, I came to Australia from Buenos Aires. Now, who's 11 years old here? Anyone? Yes, at the back. Well done. I was your age, guys. Now, guess what? This was my first ever passport. Now, when we arrived back in 2000, this over here was a visa. Now, nowadays, everything is through uh, internet, right? But back in those days, this is how Australia gave the visas to migrants. Now, when I came to Australia, I did not speak nothing, nada, zero, zero English. So, when I was at the primary school, because I was in year six, when I came to Australia, what I used to do was sit down, lock myself in the bedroom, and listen to Shania Twain. Now, who knows Shania Twain in this room? <laughs> yes, that's right. Now, I used to sit down and lock myself in the bedroom and sing her songs so I can speak English. Now, <clears throat> however, English for me was a very different language from Spanish. At home, I speak Spanish. At school, I had to learn to speak English. My English slowly, slowly improved. When I was in year seven, I was not ready to go to high school. So I had to do another extra year of the, I went to the Adelaide Secondary School of English. Now in this school, this is when I learned to learn English to be able to go to high school. It was fun days at the English secondary school because there I met a lot of people from overseas and interstate and internationally. I was getting ready to go to high school. I was getting ready to um, learn and ensure that I speak well English. So, I joined high school. And when I joined high school, in year eight, year nine, and year 10, I was not talking a lot of Spanish at home. Because at school, I used to get teased by my accent. That I used to get teased that I had a funny accent or people did not understand me. So, when I got home one day, and I remember being with my sisters, I said to my sisters, you know what? We're going from now on to talk English at home a bit more. My sisters were like, yep, that's fine. We'll talk English. My parents were very happy because they practiced their English as well. But I wanted to learn. I wanted to have the Australian accent. So... When I started year 10, I realized that I could not lose my Spanish. So this is when my parents decided to enroll me in School of Languages. And I was here too one day, back in those days. So when I started School of Languages, I met a friend who loved to dance. That's it. So in one of our classes, he show off a little salsa move. And I was like, wow, you can teach me how to dance to the salsa. And he's like, yeah, for sure, I can teach you. And while I was learning back my Spanish, because I stopped talking it at home, I stopped writing it, I stopped reading it back in those days, Despacito was not on the radio. I, through that experience, I start connecting back with my culture. 
I loved you. I used to love coming to the School of Languages classes, you know, every Monday after school. Because during that recess, we used to, he used to teach me some new moves. Now it's cool. Now, School of Languages brought me a whole new sense of belonging again. Because of School of Languages, I realized that I could not lose a language. I had to continue my Spanish. I had to embrace it, so I did. Now, I also, before finishing year 12, I got a certificate and a word of merit. Now, who's gonna get one of these today? Wow, look at you all, well done. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure because when you have a passion and when you really persist and you have a dedicated soul to continue to learn your language, you get an award. So I was here too on the stage, guys. Now, high school came along, finished year 12, graduation came along, and high school seemed to be very different. Because when I graduated, you can see this is my old T-shirt, my friends started calling me Miss Latina. And I was so proud for them to call me that. Because you know what? When I was during lunchtime, during recess, I used to teach them some really cool Spanish words. And they love that. And I was very, very honored that I was able to do that while I was in high school. So, what is it that I do now? Because of languages, because of my culture, take this out for a minute, and because I love dancing, I opened a dance school. Now, I'm just going to show you. The dance school is called El Ritmo. Now, we're here every Saturday in the city. And I teach kids, just like your age, how to dance to the Latin rhythm. Why? Because I realize that I have a language, I have a culture that I would like to share, and also I have a passion. So, I hope many of you here in the room today, one day when you grow up, will do something more than extraordinary with your language. I hope one day you can also be inspiring many kids across Adelaide as well in Australia. Language goes beyond learning words and getting the words right. When you explore language with the arts, with math, with writing, Anything, you can be anything, you can use language with anything you want. So, I would like to close my little, sharing my little story, saying to you guys that you all are in a beautiful pathway. And then one day, I'm sure, you can also become anything you want with your language. Embrace it and make a difference in someone else's life. Thank you, muchas gracias, and thank you to the School of Languages for giving me the opportunity to share my story. Gracias.